we thank God so much for this morning. Um, he is the creator of the universe, master of all things. At this juncture, I want us to bow our head down. Whatever religion that you are in, I think you have a master that all every morning to say, thank you, my master. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my savior. Thank you, my protector. I want us to give a lot of attention to the one who gave you life this morning. To say, thank you for giving me life. Thank you for giving me good health. Let us no, no, pray. No. At your own time, no, no. just talk to your maker. Like this house. You know, this, this house. Yes, I love this house. Too. Ashi. Ashi. Amen. Allah Akbar. Do we have a Muslim here? Yes. Oh, okay. Please, please. Uh, can you offer us a, a prayer? <laughs> because I offer you a prayer. Afatia. Let's read our party. Are you not a Muslim? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this morning to express our heartfelt appreciation to him for giving us good health, life, uh, bringing us together, for him guiding us this day wherever we find ourselves. May his name be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Ashi. 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 Um, before we go to our affirmation, today uh, on the tour itinerary, yeah, is the is the four is the third, fourth day. Yes, is the fourth day. Okay. Um, we are going to do, uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah uh, Memorial Park, um, who we'll also go to Art Center. Art Center is the largest souvenir market in Accra. Um, we also drive to WE uh, Du Bois Center and Jot Padmore. Today is a, a conference day in the evening, so we'll come to the hotel early so that we can prepare for the conference. So that's what we're going to do for today. Let's put in our maximum efforts that at the end of it, we will all say it is good for us to have this day. 
please can we go back to page in the book in the top book page 58 where our affirmation is page 58 so today is going to be day three day three and as usual I will say three times and then at the end of it all of us also will say three times and the affirmation for today says I am the master of my life I am the master of my life I am the master of my life can we all say this after me I am the master of my life Okay, don't worry. Sometimes there, there's a turbulence in the air, so no problem. All of us are going to start again. Ready? Go! I am the master of my life. I am one no, okay. The second time, go. I am the master of my life. For the last time, go. I am the master of my life. Okay. Let's dilate on us. Let's think about us. Just for a few seconds. What does this imply to you, a person? I am the master of my life. We have different views. What are those affirmation tells you? What is it going through your mind? You are the master of your life. So we would like to share what is going through our mind right now? What does this mean to you? At least we can get three or four people to share with us. What does this mean to them? Who is going to take the first? Who is going to start for us? I am the master of my life. Okay. Um, in, in Africa, we always give much reverence to the elderly in everything. So for them to open the door for us, um, we will give them the mic to tell us uh, today's affirmation, what it means to them. Uh, at least we have about um, um, a few of them here. You know you are the first person. <laughs> I like her so much. She always creates a fun. <laughs> okay. Okay, ma. I am the master of my life. Yeah. What comes to mind is that Maybe closer to what comes to mind is that we have a ten I have a tendency to at one time in my life I had a tendency to blame others for whatever happened. I lost my purse. I lost my elephant. <laughs> it's nobody's fault but mine. I am the only person who's responsible for that. I am in control. You know, I can't be upset because I lost my purse, I lost my book, uh, my life didn't go well, whoa, it's me. Get up, stand up, and do what you need to do. Wow. Take control of your life. Amen. It's no one else's fault but your own. That's right. Amen. That's what I have to get. What I have to get. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. No, you put me on the spot, but I feel like uh, closer well, to your mouth. I plan to have a, a nice day today, and that is my goal. And I'm the master of planning to have a nice day and let the things that bother me pat them over my shoulder and keep going. Amen. Amen. Plan is a nice day today, a beautiful day, even though it's hazy out. Amen. Let's put our hands together also for him. Yeah. And then uh, the last person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
I, I am the master of my life. I, I think in terms of our own happiness, I, especially happiness, because I decided a long time ago that you cannot be happy. No one else can make you happy unless you are happy. All right. You can't share a joy with somebody. I don't care who it is, if it's your spouse, if it's your partner, if it's your whoever. I tell all the young people in my family, you better not depend on that person to make you happy. You better make yourself happy. All right. And then you can share that joy. So that's what that means to me. Wow. Wow. Let's put our hands together. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. You should be, and everyone should be master of his or her life. Okay, I want yeah, to my finish and come to My name is, you got to squeeze? Yeah, it's on. My name is Danvers, and I'm the master of my life. Sure. And today, I'm 72 years old. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the next six, seven days, eight, nine. God will bless you every day. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, now, on your left, on your left, there is a small land. This place is known as Airport City. It's a place uh, full of offices, banks, and hotels. Airport City, another expensive area for the elites. For the elites, yes, please. Um, my brother has partially introduced himself, but he will introduce himself fully. Uh, where is he coming from? Uh, uh, what profession are you in? Um, and then anything that you want to tell us, yesterday we did an introduction so that we'll be able to network whilst we are here. So, go we'll give the mic to you. Yeah, my name is Dan Atkinson. Most people say Danny. I was born in Jamaica. Uh -huh. I live in the United States now for about 35 years. Wow. My profession is retired. <laughs> wow, wow, I love that. Now that I know uh, retiring is a profession, it's <laughs> great, man. We are all praying that all of us will, will assume into that profession very soon. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, coming up. It's, there's a circle or runabout ahead of us, a very important area. This was created in 1983 by, by one of our late presidents called John Jerry Rollins. John Jerry Rollins came to power in 1981 through a coup d'etat and Things were very, very difficult and hard for Ghanaians. Even essential commodity uh, were no more. Getting even a sugar to buy was a difficult thing. Uh, those who supposed to produce for us to buy are no more producing. So food was a scarce thing in Ghana. This man thought about it and said, no, it's because of the revolution. As a result of that, in 1983, two years later, he came out to have a committee. Yeah, that's run about all oh, this track. Just a small place. And this place is known as Farmers Runabout. Farmers Runabout, Equal Circle. What did he do? 
For us to have abundant food, he encouraged farmers to farm the more. So there was an award that he instituted this award to be given to farmers. This committee that was set up goes around and look at people's farm, and then at the end of it, uh, the first Saturday in December is Farmers Day. Currently, it's a national holiday, and awards is being given to farmers. That really boost their morale to do more. From that time, we never look back, and there's so much abundance of food, even for some of our West African neighbors. So it was a very good thing that he instituted. Very good. Currently, it's an envious award. Whoever wins the national award, you will tell the government which area you want the government to build a house for. So the government will build a house for you, four bedroom house, free of charge. They will give you a pickup, they will give you a four by four, they will give you other farming equipment and including money so that you'll be able to do more. So we have the national award, we have the regional award, we have the district awards <coughs> being given to farmers. Uh, yes, sir. If you was uh, just if you came here and you want to live here from the states and you just got your residency, could you could you qualify for what all the support awards? I, I didn't hear your question. Bro. Could he qualify if he's a resident from the United States? Okay. Well, do you become a president? Resident. Yes. Resident. Oh, okay. We will talk about that later. I will talk about it. Could he qualify for one of those awards? Yeah, I, I, you hold on. Uh, take a look on your right. Who can, who can tell me what this place means? Or what is it? Yes, please, you can take a picture. In, in, in Ghana, this place is known as Flagstar House. This is where our president office is president and the vice president you will call it a white house because it's painted white so it's a white house as far well as i don't know the color that we're going to give but the place is called flagstar house flagstar house was created by dr kwame Nkrumah. even before dr kwame Nkrumah came to power this place was a training ground for the whole West African soldiers. Before the Second World War, all the West African British protracted countries and British uh, soldiers, as well as those countries that British were taking care of, their soldiers were trained here. Those soldiers were known as West African Frontier Force. They are very hard to reckon with. West African Frontier Force. <clears throat> After we had independence on 6th of March 1957, Kwame Nkrumah used this place as a resting place. They built a whole lot of houses there as a resting place. Later, it became an annex to the castle. <coughs> when we had an independence, our president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, operated from the castle called Osu Christianburg <coughs> Castle, not far away from here. But about, let me say, 15 years ago, it was changed. Then the president, President Kufo, decided that the castle where he was should be changed because it was the colonial masters who built that to colonize the people. So why don't you get out of this place? So this uh, area was redemarcated and then built a new office for the presidents and the vice presidents. Thank you. So that is the Flagstar House. 
Yeah, now the question was, can you become a citizen? No. Okay. What was the question? His question. Yes. His question was, you were talking about the awards to farmers, and his question was, if he, a U.S. citizen, became a resident of Ghana, would he qualify for one of the awards? <laughs> um, yes and no. Mostly <laughs> <Mostly> no. <laughs> yes and no because um, if you acclaim Ghana as your home, your country, then yes, and denounce U.S. as uh, uh, a place where you are working, then it's true. It can be possible. But if you have dual citizenship, U.S. and Ghana, that is impossible. Okay. Let me tell you something that happened recently. That was about um, eight years ago. There was this uh, Ghanaian who have been in America, and uh, he's a poly, uh, let me call it politician. And uh, he came to Ghana because they know that uh, there's going to be parliamentary seats and uh, Whatsoever, so he wanted to run for one of the uh, 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 parliamentary seats. Uh, he has some money, so you know he was able to find his way through, and um, people voted for him. The other party, political, he stood for one political party. The other political party went under him and then started investigating about this man, Nicodemus. Then he got to know that this man owes a dual citizenship. Uh -huh. In our constitution, it doesn't allow that. So the man took him to court. And when he took him to court, uh, 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 what that the court can do is, when they found out that, yes, he has a dual citizenship, they have to, uh, 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 to stop him being a parliamentary candidate for uh, that constituency. So, if you have a dual citizenship, no. But if you have a claim, everything shows that, yes, now is a Ghanaian, when you have been in the country for a certain number of years, staying in the country for a certain number of years, yes, you can do that. Thank you. Okay. On your immediate left, as a children's playing ground in Accra, that's place um it wasn't like this when the government wanted to use this place for office complex another time there was a certain woman who was in charge of the uh, children's ministry called mrs ifra sutherland adi <coughs> she's a writer and an author of many books she's too to fight the government to get this place for the children of the community so that at least once in a while, uh, something can be organized for the children to come and play here. It will interest you to know that Ghana is the first country in the whole world to ratify the Convention of the Rights of Children. This woman, Ephra Sutherland Adi, was a professor, a very strong woman. Uh, she passed on some few years ago. On your right, just take a look on a look at the building over there. This is our World Trade Center. It's the World Trade Center in West Africa. So all the West African countries come here for business. Trading in stock exchange and many other things. So this is the World Trade Center in Ghana. A little bit ahead of us when the car move. <laughs> Coming on your right hand side is a national theater. 
National Theater. And as the name implies, National Theater. It is just about uh, 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 music, drama, dancing, and all those things. This was born in 1991. And the government at that time uses uh, Chinese architecture. Why? Because Ghana and China has some links and uh, they brought Chinese prisoners to come and build thus. So what about the architecture of the presidents and vice presidents? That was very important. Thank you. That one also was an agreement between Ghana and then China. Yeah. So it was the contractor the contractor was uh, Chinese, uh, the engineers were Ghanaians. Yeah. Um, it's built in the form of a stool, a stool, which is one of our tradition. A stool is a chair that is being used by chiefs and kings. Yeah. We are driving at a place that is known as ministries. Ministries. When you talk about ministries, it's government departments, government organizations that are dotted around this area. Uh, on the middle left is the uh, customs office. Customs. And then we have water and seaweed headquarters over there. Uh, health is just around this place. The ocean is just on your left hand side. And then there is the headquarters of the food and agriculture. Yeah, on the right is the House of Fortune. I don't know uh, the fortunes that they brought into people's life. I believe that they make people misery, yeah. not people to get money. Uh, it's a lottery house, government owned lottery house. Yeah, yeah. I called the police at that point. Yeah, funny for me. What are you going to take? I haven't fixed that. It's been like two years now. Oh, yeah. It has finished and uh, it's supposed to be commissioned. It's been uh, it's a form of commission that was uh, any part of this. Uh, any part of this. Uh, this month. Uh, uh, and then they come to the month. Uh, tell them to go down. Yeah. To be commissioned on the 1st July, that is a uh, republic. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, you know, July, getting to emancipation. 